Hi, sixth graders. Today, we're going to talk about author's purpose versus main idea. So really what prompted me to guide us through this lesson was um, last week, we had done some work with nonfiction texts and determining the main idea. And I noticed that some of the main ideas that students were writing, they were on topic, but they were a little bit more of wrapping up into the author's purpose and you're almost making inferences based on what you think the authors wanted you to do or believe okay so i want to they're very closely related but there is a difference so we're going to talk about that today so what is the difference so author's purpose usually is not explicitly stated for the readers basically saying it is not stated in black and white right on the page like this is the purpose why i'm writing it um, instead the readers must infer the author's intent behind why they are writing the text. So remember our inference skills, it's making an educated guess. A lot of you are naturally doing this and making these inferences based off what you're reading, which is great, but that is more the author's purpose um, versus the main idea. So for example, it's um, one way to start looking at the author's, author's purpose is to ask yourself, um, are they writing to persuade, to inform, or to entertain? So why are they writing this piece? And then um, what are they trying to persuade you to do would be the next layer of it. Now, the main idea is what the article is all about. Okay, this is more black and white. It's stated directly to you. So in many ways, the main idea is directly stated through the various details the author includes. It is supposed to be obvious. It should be like super easy. You should not need to infer or make an educated guess as to what the main idea of the text is. Okay, so they are very closely related but they are two different things okay they are two different things but they do work hand in hand and we'll see that here shortly as i go over some examples so two articles that i'm going to go over as an example of what i was seeing in kind of author's purpose verse main idea is we did read an article um i can't remember if it was as a class or as if you worked on this as a partner but we did read an article about the man um his last name was clark who sat on the steps of MIT. So it was lending an ear, free listening in his business. So if you recall that ar article, that's what I'm gonna talk about now. So first we have an example that says, listening to others is important and we should take time to stop, connect and listen to those around us. This was very closely to what I was seeing in students' work. Um, so I'm actually gonna give you two different examples of what, what I kind of saw with students' work, but they were trying to write the main idea. Um, the second example is a young man demonstrates the importance of listening to others and research and explore the positive impact listening has on our lives. So this is the author's purpose. Notice it's a little bit persuasive and that's what I was kind of seeing. Students were making inferences based on like after reading all the good things that listening does, they were like, we should really stop and connect and listen to those around us. You're right, we should, but um, there, this was really more about the research and trying to inform. So you were really looking at the author's purpose versus the main idea, which is the, a young man demonstrates, so this Clark demonstrates the importance of listening to others, right? That's what he does. Not trying to persuade you, they're just telling you about it. And um, they show how researchers explore the positive impact listening has on our life. So notice that's not opinionated. It's not telling you which way you should, what you should do where author's purpose in the beginning that the right here this right here that is trying to almost persuade you let's try it again so when we read the article this is where i definitely saw it the most was the mul the media multitasking disrupts memory even in young uh, adult scientists say so you have two examples here media multitasking is harmful harmful to the brain and young adults should not continue to do this and then we have scientists took the time to research and study how media multitasking is harmful to memory of adolescents. Great, okay, great. We have two examples here. This is author's purpose. Again, based off everything you read, yeah, you're like, why would we, we should definitely stop um, media multitasking. It's not something we should continue to do based off all the information you were gathered. But that is not the main idea. The main idea needs to be a little bit, um, not really taking a stance. So scientists took the time to research and study, which they did, how media multitasking is harmful to the memory of adolescents, so young adults. That would be your main idea. All right, and then lastly, um, 
again, looking, I practiced with this article, but I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. I see it's already at five minutes. Wow, I talk too much. Um, this is the article I practiced with. Boredom may pose a public health threat in the social distancing era. Um, after reading it, it basically talked about how um, individuals who are bored and become disengaged with the world around them, they're more like more likely to go and do risky things and put themselves in situations where they can get could get um, infected with the uh, COVID nineteen or a new strain, and how it boredom really makes people do risky things and um it's bad for the public it's bad for their health and all of that so the author's purpose was really to inform um the author wants readers to be aware of negatives of boredom and how they're playing into the public health and then the main idea was scientists address the threat boredom plays in the relation to public health during a pandemic again this was just to um, they were just trying to inform you. They weren't trying to persuade you. They weren't trying to entertain you with these scary facts about boredom and what people are willing to do. Instead, they were just trying to inform you um, and make you aware of these things. All right. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Have a great day. Bye.